I own five microscopes uh, and uh, what I want to do is, is I want to show them to you and I simply also want like to compare them a little bit because later on um, I'm going to use my mobile phone and I, I want to take some pictures uh, through the eyepiece and uh, let's have a comparison, let's see um, how good they actually are. Before I do that, I simply want to give you a short introduction into these microscopes um, so that you can see a little bit uh, what the differences are. Um, and the point uh, or the intention of this video is, is uh, to show you that actually you do not need a very expensive microscope um, to start amateur microscopy um, as a hobby. Um, actually quite low cost microscopes also produce uh, surprisingly good uh, quality images. They have other disadvantages of course, but if you just look at image quality, um, I think nowadays um, it's uh, quite uh, possible to buy very good microscopes for a relatively low price. This was not the case uh, several years ago, uh, but in the meantime, at times uh, things have changed a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick uh, run through through these microscopes here. And there is one of these microscopes has a sp uh, is a stereo microscope. So I'm not going to be including this in the in the comparison uh, later on. I'm just going to show it to you for the sake of completion, so to say. It's a stereo microscope, and uh, yeah, um, and uh, because uh, it's a different uh, type of microscope, I'm not going to compare this one. I can I still take a picture, but it, this cannot be compared. Then, okay. So I'm going to put this one over here away. That's a, a Euromax microscope, a um, Dutch company. I just put it away, okay, on the floor here because I do need the space. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start uh, with uh, the, the large microscope that I have over here. It's the Olympus CH40 microscope. It's a microscope which is uh, not manufactured anymore. And uh, it has uh, um, one, two, three, four, five uh, objectives. So the revolver has, uh, has five uh, uh, allows to, to have five objectives attached is quite convenient and of course uh, very prominent over here is uh, is the photo tube which allows me to connect a single lens reflex camera and there's even some kind of specialized optics the so-called photo projection eyepiece is in here quite expensive uh, uh, even the adapter up here actually costs more than a, than a separate low-cost microscope just the adapter so this uh, microscope, if you were to buy it uh, used, I found it on eBay for around 1,200, uh, 1,300 euros without the photo tube. And then, yeah. So I would say that probably um, with uh, everything as you see, see it over here, maybe around, uh, it still has a value of maybe around $2,000 or 2,000 euros approximately. Okay, so that is uh, one thing, um, and uh, yeah, um, it's uh, um, I bought this 20 years ago, this microscope, um, when I finished my university studies, and it's still as good as new. I mean, that's uh, basically what you talk about. Yeah, it's quality. It's a quality piece. So that is uh, the Olympus CH40. It's a doctor's microscope. I think I remember correctly. They, they used to sell it uh, as a so-called doctor's uh, microscope. And this one over here is also not manufactured anymore. And it's an uh, Olympus CHA microscope. And if you have ever a possibility to buy one of these used in a good condition, it's excellent, okay? Um, it is like this. I got this microscope um, a couple of months ago um, and uh, it was not usable at all. And the reason why it was not usable is was because the oil, uh, the lubricant, oil in the focusing knobs and also here in the mechanical stage solidified to the extent that I could not even turn it anymore okay and then what I did is the following I talked to um, a uh, microscope service company and they uh, basically they gave a complete service and cleaning of the microscope and now it works perfectly again yeah um, but simply <laughs> the service alone already had uh, was around 200 euros um, all of the work time involved and they had to take apart everything and and, and clean everything um, so the 200 euros for that amount of money you already get a separate microscope okay uh, but I had to get that done because it's such a beautiful device and yeah and over here this here is a 200 euro let's say maybe about $220 um, um, educational microscope. It has uh, over here four objectives on here. It also has an oil immersion objective, which I actually don't recommend. Um, but um, this one um, is uh, 
Essentially, has all of the things uh, that you you need uh, if you want to go into amateur microscopy. I think, yeah, it's it's got a mechanical stage, it's got a coarse and fine focus knob, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. And and, and also of course an LED, so it uh, it can be battery operated. So there is even um, a, a little bit of portability here. And then last but not least, a little bit uh, more proof of concept. <laughs> Just wanted to try it out if it works. And uh, this is a Lego microscope with only one objective. Total magnification is one hundred x. Uh, I've got a 10x uh, eyepiece. You cannot see it right now, but in here there is a, a 10x uh, objective. Uh, you place the, place the slide on here. There is uh, I have got a little LED uh, a lamp uh, that you put uh, down here, and uh, yeah, and by moving this here up and down, you basically you focus the slide. It works. Um, and I'm also gonna show you um, an image comparison using this microscope here. Okay, so um, what is uh, the recommendation that I have? Um, if you are interested in amateur microscopy or if you um, have to buy you know, a microscope also for homeschooling maybe, um, or if you have to buy several microscopes uh, for educational use, for example, in the classroom, my advice is, is, is yeah, somewhat mixed. Um, on one hand, you don't want to, you don't have the budget maybe to spend too much uh, money on microscopes. So I understand that. On the other hand, um, it's like this if you, if you don't, it's uh, worth investing a little bit because you simply uh, get, uh, it's, if there's a problem, then uh, you, it actually pays off to get it serviced. Uh, um, and uh, to do some some maintenance on it, but if if the microscope is is of too low value, um, then there could be maybe a problem with uh, the mechanics not being very good, and then it's also not really worth getting it serviced properly. So you see, I have somewhat mixed feelings here. My advice probably is is, is that you start off uh, with a, a low cost microscope like this one over here, um, it, uh, 200 euros, 200 dollars around. Um, there are microscopes available that are significantly cheaper, uh, less than 100 euros. Um, they don't have uh, they don't have a mechanical stage. They might only have one focus knob and not a, a fine focus knob here as well. But uh, I'm going to have a look at those and then I'm going to make a separate video to uh, to explain or to show you how how good these are. But I would say that this one is probably one of the 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 the, the most low cost ones. Is starts at around uh, 200 euros where you can already get similar features as those at a bigger microscope um, of a bigger microscope. So what I want to do now is, is I want to um, show you how these uh, three microscopes are similar to each other. Um, and uh, we're going to start off uh, here. Is All of these uh, three microscopes have a mechanical stage uh, where you can move uh, the slide in X and uh, Y position. Very practical. Um, very low cost microscopes only have stage clips. Uh, but this is a, a significantly uh, better because it's more convenient. So that is one thing that they have in common. The second thing that they have in common is, is they have a coarse and a fine focus knob. Um, yeah, that is, you see it over here, you see it over here, you see it over here. Some microscopes have the coarse and the fine focus separated. Uh, they have a separate uh, two knobs, um, but I would say most of them actually have it combined in, in one system. Okay. That's the second thing that they have in common. The third thing that they have in common is, is that they all have a condenser. I'm going to do the following now. I'm just going to take out the condenser of this microscope over here. Um, actually, it's not the whole condenser. Yeah, you have to lower it and then you have to unscrew it. And there is a, between the lamp and the objective, there is an optical system. And this is the condenser. Okay, it looks like this. And um, I would say uh, that, uh, yeah, um, th this really uh, improves image quality. It has, there's a diaphragm over here. I'm going to disconnect the filter holder. This is the filter holder here. And if you flip it around, I don't know if you can see it. And if I open and close this, then you can see that there is a diaphragm, uh, which is uh, opening and closing. That's the, the condenser diaphragm. And this one is not uh, there to c control light primarily. That's we've got a separate control for that, but to con uh, control resolution, uh, contrast, and also depth of field. Um, so, and uh, all of these, all of the three microscopes have that. Very low cost microscopes uh, don't have that, uh, but I would actually say it is something that I recommend. Uh, um, all of them have a filter holder. I already showed you the filter holder, and I got to uh, reattach it a little bit here. Um, the filter holder is is important uh, because uh, um, it allows you to um, place a so-called dark field patch stops um, into the condenser, um, and this means that you can get a different contrasting technique. So that is uh, another thing. All of them have a light intensity control. Um, here it is a, a knob that you can turn. Over here in this microscope, I need to move carefully. Need to move this out of the way. It's a wheel that you can uh, that you can turn over here. Okay, um, so and 
with a CHA microscope over here. Um, it is a slider that you can uh, move back and forth. Okay, but light intensity control is is uh, something that is very uh, very useful um, in 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 all of them because uh, with the different objectives that you use, uh, you need a different light intensity. And also, if you want to do photography work uh, through the microscope, controlling the light intensity is, is quite uh, quite important. Yeah, so that is basically um, yeah, and of course uh, all of them have uh, have uh, similar magnifications. I have a 4x, 10x, a 40x over here, even a 100x oil immersion objective on this educational microscope. Okay, I got to move it a little more into the into the picture over here. Um, and this microscope here, the large one, I took the oil immersion objective out because I don't need it. And over here, we also don't have the oil immersion objective. But as you can see, there is uh, still the space uh, for an extra objective. All you have to do is you have to remove the cap. Oh. And then you can attach a new objective here. Yeah, so that the modularity is 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 given in all cases. And one of the nice things about uh, these microscopes is is that uh, all of the objectives are interchangeable because we have the so-called 160 millimeter DIN uh, system, and therefore the threading is standardized. So that is, uh, as you can see. Um, they probably have more similarities than you might guess. However, there are a few features on this CH40 microscope that are really neat, and therefore I, um, I basically I uh, I decided to invest uh, significantly more money in, into this microscope. And the most important feature for me, at least, is is, uh, is the photo tube. Now, um, 20 years ago, when I got this microscope, um, we did there were, uh, were the small. Uh, relatively low cost USB cameras did not uh, exist yet okay nowadays well, all you do is, is the following if you want to have uh, do a photography through the microscope you buy yourself a small USB camera you take out the eyepiece you put in put in the camera and you connect it to the computer and you can do um, yeah you just use your computer screen instead of the eyepiece and then you can take pictures and take movies and so on and well 20 years ago this didn't, didn't exist um, so the only way of taking pictures actually was uh, by using um, yeah single lens reflex cameras, film cameras at that time. And this is the reason why we had this uh, large adapter over here. So for me, this was a really important criterion. That's why I chose uh, to buy this microscope over here. And the second reason why I bought this microscope is, is because um, it has a, a so-called a field diaphragm. I mean, I just showed you the condenser aperture diaphragm, but there is above the lamp uh, down here, there's a separate, a second diaphragm, which um, it controls uh, the diameter of the, of the light um, on the slide. So this reduces stray light and it's very useful in photography because you get a slightly better image contrast uh, this way because you don't have a uh, light bouncing off from the side here because you're really only limiting it to the to the actually visible area so that was uh, is important for imp improving image co um, uh, in image quality and the third reason why I chose this microscope is, is because it has a 30 watt halogen light lamp um, Nowadays, uh, more microscopes have LEDs, uh, but at that time, Helgen was the only thing available. And the 30 watts, that's, uh, that's very bright, and therefore, um, it was uh, gave me sufficient light to, uh, to do photography. Okay? Um, and so, all of these uh, factors were actually contributing factors why I decided to invest uh, quite significantly much more money into this one here, over here. Don't forget, this big microscope, as you see it over here, costs more than 10 times uh, compared to an educational microscope like this one over here. Okay, um, but I'm going to show you now that the image quality is not ten necessarily ten times better. I mean, you don't get you don't get uh, you don't see ten times more because you pay ten times more. Okay, um, and uh, so um, that is uh, the point of this video is, is to show you you can don't don't wait uh, until you have the money together to buy yourself a really expensive microscope. Just get started. Uh, that's my view, and uh, just get started. Buy yourself a, a a low cost microscope, but not too low okay it should it should still be of course uh, um, reasonably functional but uh, then later on if you want to uh, expand a little bit and if you want to try different uh, um, optics uh, and different contrasting techniques and whatever then you can always buy yourself a, a, a better one by that time you already have uh, the experience and the knowledge to uh, make an informed decision okay but let's get started now you do need a very steady hand if you want to take pictures using a mobile phone. The distance has to be correct, also the angle, um, and uh, then you can, however, get a picture that is uh, quite good and uh, which allows for direct comparison between the different uh, microscopes. But uh, I did have to try several times. This is uh, spruce wood uh, at uh, 100x uh, and uh, I've uh, taken the picture 
uh, with the mobile phone directly through the eyepiece as I said before and uh, it's a little bit cut off because it's a wide field eyepiece and therefore the field of view is quite large. Now with the Olympus CHA microscope uh, you can see that the field of view is a little bit smaller. The top uh, left corner um, of the image is a little bit blurry but this is because I did not align my mobile phone uh, camera properly so it's not a defect in the optics that we see here. The BMS 136 the educational microscope um, over here the black line that you see that is an arrow uh, pointing um, inwards and this can be taken out if not needed. Uh, and here the color is again a little bit different because it's an LED lamp and finally the ELMO 2, <laughs> that is how I call it, the LEGO microscope it is a little bit low in contrast um, and the reason is because the inside of the microscope has not been painted black but you can see that there is not a big difference in image quality and the picture is also all the way sharp to the edge. As you've seen, the difference in image quality between the microscopes is really not that big. And the reason is, is because uh, the image quality depends on the optics. And if they are okay, uh, then uh, there should not be a reason why the difference uh, is too big. Um, why the big microscope, the CH40, is so much more expensive is... is uh, for several other reasons, because there are certain features on there that uh, the other low-cost microscopes don't have, um, and this uh, significantly drives up the price. Well, with that, uh, I want to say again, I wish you a nice day, and uh, I wish you happy microscopy, and I do hope uh, that this uh, comparison was interesting for you, and that it also helps you to choose a microscope. And uh, yeah, all the best, bye-bye.